rumor has it, rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty right, patty. I'm gossiping. This is the rumor report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, the Atlanta Hawks play uh, at the State Farm Arena, right? Yes. Now, I don't think the State Farm Arena thought the Atlanta Hawks were going to go past what they got past because they double booked the arena. Now, of course, Hawks forced game six against the Boston Celtics. Uh, and they also booked Janet Jackson concert the same day game six is supposed to be, which is this Thursday. I'm sure they had a backup plan, though, because uh, whenever you watch, you know, b- basketball, it'll be like uh, game five if necessary or mm-hmm. game six if necessary, game seven if necessary. So I'm sure they had a, a backup plan in case they did make it to game five. Well, it, ga- game six and, and Janet Jackson mm-hmm. is supposed to be Thursday the 27th. Now, mm. Janet's Friday, right? They moved to Friday. Yeah, so now they moved Janet Jackson's show to Friday so the Atlanta Hawks can play on Thursday. I would bet money that when you bought Janet Jackson tickets, they probably told you that it's a possibility it could be Thursday or Friday. Yeah, but how do you do that? Like, people, people take, you know, breaks. They get babysitters. They take off of work. Some people are flying in or driving in for that show. You got to stay an extra day. Yeah, it's a Thursday, Friday. That's a weekend. You Janet a, Jackson, man. Yeah, you make a weekend in Atlanta. Not a bad city to be a week, stay a weekend in. I was just there last weekend. Some people, it depends on people might not have the money for that. Her fans have day. money. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'll put it that way. It's all W-2s in that building. Goodness gracious. Now, uh, Quavo, there's rumors that Quavo and Chloe Bailey. Did you know Chloe Bailey and Charlamagne are cousins? What? That is my cousin. Yeah. I didn't know that. I don't know about yes, that. My cousin works at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Cracker. <laughs> Cracker. <laughs> She's a waitress. <laughs> well, Quavo and Chloe Bailey are allegedly dating, and they did a little cute interview with each other for Complex, and they talked about uh, some things like, well, let's just go right into it. Hi, I'm Chloe Bailey. This is the GOAT himself. And we're on Goat Talk with Complex. Goat Atlanta slang. Cap. I do like cap. I vote cap. I'll be capping. I vote cap. You be capping? It's a little cap. Uh oh. Goat dating advice. Be yourself. What do you say? Don't trust these hoes. <laughs> I'm just playing. What? <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. You talking about yourself. <laughs> All right, Goat Gentlemen's Club. Oh. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot. Gotta be magic and then allure. I've never been to either. Stay away. I've only been to one strip club for a business meeting, and it was very business underwhelming. Business meeting? You like throwing money? No, but I want to see some beautiful bodies. We'll go to Magic. Let's go. Magic Monday, we bring in Chloe. <laughs> um, how did they get that they dating out of that conversation? Because up? after they went to the club, they were seeing with each other, I think, once or twice eating and at the club, so people just they, assumed they, he just that they said, were dating. He, he just said he was going to take it to well, the club. Well, the interview just came out first, but they were seeing at the club first, beforehand. Oh, got you, got you. Got you didn't you. know that? It's your family. No, I do. <laughs> Weird. You don't pay attention to your family's dating life, do you, Gary? No. Exactly. <laughs> well, if they were dating Quavo, I would. Oh, you think Quavo's cute? I didn't say you'd that. Be interested? Stop. And you'd be asking questions. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. What? I'm saying if I had a niece or a cousin female that was dating Quavo, I'd be like, no way. That's cool. <laughs> no. That's cool if you're dating Quavo, right? Yeah, I guess. That'd be cool. Now, lastly, uh, Tony Tony Braxton, uh, she had to go through a heart procedure after life-threatening lupus scary. complication. This is scary. They say in September she underwent a procedure after 80% of the main artery in her heart was blocked. Jeez. Uh, they said, you know, lupus causes inflammation that can affect the joint, skin, kidneys, blood cells, brain, heart, and lungs. That's why I keep telling y'all go do all the cardiovascular work you can, man. Mm-hmm. You I'm going next I mean? week. Oh, listen, I wore a heart monitor for a couple of months. Mm-hmm. I had an EKG. Mm-hmm. I did the stress test. Mm-hmm. I did the uh, the thing where they put the ink in your body to make sure that you know your arteries mm-hmm. aren't clogged. Mm-hmm. Jeez, you I did, did the all. calcium test. Oh yeah, I did all of that. I ain't do. It. I ain't go that far, but I did I some did of everything. That. Did you get your colonoscopy yet? Not yet. Not yet. I'm getting it. What are you, what are you waiting for? To hit 50? No. You be, you, you gotta be, be 50, 45. 45. Okay, I definitely gotta do it. I got it at 44. Yeah, you're supposed to do it. He, wanted, mm-hmm. he, he heard the doctor going in the butt. He went early, but... Uh, I, that I, is not ah, true. Boom. See, that's terrible. Another gay joke for you, bro. Ter- terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible joke because the reality is I have a history of it in my family, so when you have a history of it in your family, that's when you're supposed to go early. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Andy, go. you should know that. I know, we've been joking, but we've been encouraging people to go, and, yeah, and, and we're go. telling all our friends that we can't be friends with you if you don't go get a colonoscopy, and you should go. I'm, dude, I'm before I come back here next time. Well, I'm back here tomorrow, but after that, <laughs> I'll have it done. And, and the cardiovascular work is just equally as important, if, if not important, if yeah. not more. I don't think in it. And you, 
just look at uh, Tony Braxton and then and Jamie. I mean, Jamie I know Fox, they're in their fifties, uh-huh. but they both look great. Right. And just yeah. seeing them both within the last six months, healthy. They looked healthy as anything. And having blocked coronary arteries can lead to stroke or heart attack. Like, yo, if your arteries are 80% blocked, Tony Tony Braxton is blessed to still be here. Correct. For her doctor to catch that, and she was saying she was having heart pain, but she said she thought yeah. it was distress of uh, losing her sister, but mm-hmm. it, it, it was that as well, but it was also the fact that her artery was blocked. That's and right. it, I, I mean, I just had a show with her in February. You're a liar. And she, it was on TV. Damn it, why would you be having? You? A, why would you have a show with Tony Braxton? <laughs> it was the be, Byron Allen before the Super Bowl show. He, had, to be he did the variety show. Oh, okay. Tony Braxton had comedians on. I didn't mean to doubt you. He's trying to be passionate. Oh my god! Why would I lie? I name drop. With he goes, You're lying. <laughs> why would I lie? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Jeff Jackson canceled. I was on that. I was on that <laughs> Thursday. I couldn't make the Friday show, so I'm not on anymore. Why would Jesus. I lie? But I'm just saying, she was dancing, mm-hmm. had all the backup dancers like mm-hmm. moving, like no problem. Damn. Yeah. Wow, so I'm glad she got it checked out, and I'm glad she's okay. Absolutely. And that is yeah. your rumor report. Now, Charlamagne, who are you giving that down to? Man, four after the hour, let's talk about strange things to eat. Why don't we? There's a mother out there feeding their kids something that I don't know if she should be feeding her kids, and we'll talk about it four after the hour. Now you put that voice on. I don't yeah. know. What kind no. of food is that? Right, You'll right. find out. All right, we'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.